I'll be showing you how to do email marketing for your Shopify store. This video is going to consist of several sections. First, I'll talk about overall the two types of emails you can send out. I'll go into examples, quite a few different types of email automations and campaigns you can set out. And lastly, I'll show you which app to use to set this all up. So this should be a pretty comprehensive tutorial. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. So in terms of an overall, you can have two different types of emails you're going to send out. You have campaigns and you have automations. So campaigns or manual or one-time email messages sent to a targeted list of subscribers or customers. So this could be a Black Friday, Cyber Monday promotional offer. I'm going to send a one-off email campaign on that Friday, letting everyone know that there's 30% off to my Shopify store. So I'm manually creating these, writing the email, and then scheduling them to send to a specific list. Whereas for automations, once you've written the email and set up when it should be sent, you're not going to schedule anything. So different automations are going to be a series of pre-written emails triggered by specific customer actions or behaviors. These could be actions such as signing up for a newsletter, making a purchase, or if a customer abandons cart. So the automation is going to take the action into account, such as if a customer abandons cart, it's going to wait four hours, and then it's going to send an automated email asking them to come back and complete their purchase. So those are the two main types of emails. Let's dive into some example automations, as well as some example one-off campaigns. So the most common one is going to be the abandoned cart automation. As mentioned, it's going to be triggered when a customer has added something to their cart, but did not complete their purchase. These are really strong ones to have as they're going to directly increase your revenue as you can be getting people to come back and complete their purchase. Many customers, when they do online shopping, will add items to their cart they're interested in, but they haven't yet made that final decision. They've come very close to purchasing and sending them a reminder is a great way to get them to actually complete it. You can also include incentives. What I've seen quite commonly is they'll send a first reminder after 24 hours, maybe after 48 hours, they'll get a second reminder. Then after 72 hours, they might offer a discount to really get them to come back and purchase. Next up is gonna be browser abandonment. So similar to the add to cart abandonment, but it, they don't need to actually add something to their cart. You probably collected these emails through maybe a pop-up or something similar, and the automation can track what products the customer viewed and then send them a targeted email based on that. This next automation is gonna be a welcome series. So it's gonna be the first communication sent to new subscribers or customers, introducing them to the brand and setting expectations for future communications. They often include things such as warm greetings, important information, and sometimes a special offer or a discount as a thank you for joining the email newsletter. These emails are a great opportunity for you to introduce your brand to your customers. Tell them what you're all about, maybe explain why you were founded and why customers choose you. This is going to help build that personal relationship with potential or existing customers. Next up is going to be the win back email automation. So these are going to target existing customers to help re-engage them with your business. Maybe it's been six months and they haven't purchased something. You can set an automated email to be sent out saying, hey, we missed you come back, here's an item I think you'll like. This next automation is gonna be upsells. It can also include cross-sells as well. And it's basically the process to encourage customers to purchase a higher end product or add a complementary product to their existing purchase. So let's say you sell hoodies as your main product. You can cross-sell or upsell them, maybe a more expensive version, maybe you're adding embroidery, maybe you're cross-selling them, the pants and the matching hat to match. In terms of manual campaigns, the most common one is gonna be promotions. These are gonna be specific emails sent out based on products, different sales, specials, or events. They're designed to drive sales and generate interest and increase brand awareness through special offers and compelling actions. These are often sent out during the holidays or different popular times of year, such as Mother's Day, Father's Day, pre-Christmas, Black Friday, Cyber Monday are some of the most common ones where promotional emails are sent out. Newsletters are also going to be a campaign sent out. Could be updating customers about different niches. You don't want to be too braggy, I think, in these. You want to talk about things that are actually going to benefit the customer, such as educational content. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. There's your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, ad spend, VAT, and much more that you need to keep track of. And that's where our sponsor, ProfitCal, comes in. 
the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on all your different important metrics so you can truly understand your store's profitability. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, Google, and TikTok. And it's going to allow you to make smarter business decisions as you're going to have true insight into your store's performance. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. It's available on the Shopify app store and there's a link in the description below to access the app listing directly. You can also search for it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. As mentioned, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check it out for yourself. All right, so those are different types of automations and email campaigns that can be sent out. Now you may be asking, what can I actually use to send those out? And in this video, we'll be taking a look at Shopify's very own Shopify email. This app has the ability to both send out automations as well as email campaigns. And it's great because your first 10,000 emails each month are free. And if you don't want to use that, there are plenty of email apps available on the Shopify app store. They're going to make it really easy to send out campaigns or automations. So let's take a look at the overall setup for Shopify email. I already have it installed in my demo Shopify store, but if you don't find it on the Shopify app store, then once you click install, it's going to take you through a basic installation sequence, which is going to ask you to accept different permissions and it should redirect you to the actual application itself. In terms of how to use this app, overall, you have your existing automations and campaigns you've sent out. You get total analytics over the last 30 days. You can also adjust this date range to see how many emails were sent, the click rate, as well as the sales attributed to those emails. Overall, you can customize your template branding, such as adding a logo, customizing your store name, setting the typography, colors, you can see a preview on the right side. These are gonna help create consistency amongst your emails, and you should be doing this to match your Shopify store's appearance, so the emails and website branding are going to match. Now let's dive into actually creating some of these campaigns and automations. Let's start with campaigns in the top right here. And what's great about this app as well is it has tons of pre-built templates. So let's say I wanna to go to a promotion, see on the left-hand side, and I wanna announce a sale announcement. So if I click on that there, you can see a preview of what this looks like. I can hit select. And from there, it's gonna bring me into the email editor where I can go and customize the email. To note, I have this error here for my Shopify store as it is a development store. And so that's why it's showing up. So first off for the campaigns, we can select who to send this to. Currently it's selected as all subscribers. We can then go and customize which list to send this to, such as customers who haven't purchased yet. Next up, we can customize the subject line. Then lastly, we can state who this is from. If you have a custom domain here, you can change this as well. And for this email to edit anything, we can basically click into it. We can change the text. We can then go and customize the buttons by clicking on an element, checking out the right hand sides sub menu we could change the color here this is really just going to depend on how you want it to look and to test this we can send a test to our email here by clicking this in the top right so we can preview how it's going to actually look on a device next up let's go into how to create automations so if i click on create automation at the top here we can see there are quite a few pre-built templates many of which we covered in the beginning of this video, such as the abandoned checkout, abandoned cart, the welcome series, so brand story with discount, first purchase upsell, customer win back, there's also a post purchase thank you. To set any of these up, we simply have to click on it, it's gonna open up a description of what this flow is, and to note, we can also create any custom automations if needed, and I'll hit edit to start so we can see exactly what this is going to look like. So these flows are built up of a bunch of different if and else statements. So if I scroll to the left here, I'm gonna exit this preview just so we can get a good idea of what this overall looks like. So at the start of this flow, when a customer abandons the checkout, it's gonna check if the customer abandoned the checkout on your online store. If that is true, it's gonna check if the checkout was more than zero. If that is also true, it's gonna wait 10 hours. Then at the 10 hour mark, if a customer hasn't placed an order or abandoned another checkout since starting this workflow and one or more products are available in stock, then it's going to send a marketing email. Now to customize any of this, I can just click on it and then change the conditions. And to change the specific email, I can click on the last element here and I can click on edit email. And that's gonna let me edit it using the same editor as before. Now to enable this, you can hit turn on workflow in the top right here. I'm not gonna be able to for this store as it is a test store, but you can repeat this for each of those templates. You can also create custom automations as well. So overall, this is gonna conclude the video here on how to do email marketing for your Shopify store. 
Hopefully this gave you a really good understanding of the different types of campaigns, the different types of automations, and how to set this up within your store using Shopify's email app. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.